Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Shah Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can use Xcode previews to preview your view controller. So this application already uses programmatic view controllers. You can see that I just have a view controller. I don't really have any storyboards or anything like that. Not that there's something wrong with storyboards. It's just that I'm just using programmatic UI. Uh, if I go ahead and run the application right now, it will simply show me the view. And let's see if I can, you can see it's so hard to resize it. There we go. Um, yeah, so you can see that the view controller is set to green and that is why you see the green color. Great, so everything is working fine, but I want to show or I want to see the preview just like a Swift UI preview, but I want to see a preview on the right hand side. So when I'm designing my application, I don't have to run it hundreds of time. I can just look at the Xcode preview. So how can we accomplish that? So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and create a struct. And this struct will be the representable. We're going to represent our view controller so that it can be represented in Swift UI or it can be represented in, well, for export preview. So what should we call it? Well, you can call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it view controller representable. Now, one thing to note over here is that if you go back to, I believe it's iOS, uh, you know, like maybe 15 or 14 or Xcode 13 and so, you usually extended the view controller and added this functionality. That no longer works. So this is a new way that I'm teaching you where you have to create a separate structure. This is going to be conforming to UI view controller representable. Now, the UI view controller representable is part of the Swift UI. So let's go ahead and import that. So Swift UI. There we go. If I try to build the application right now, it's going to complain because I'm not really conforming to UI view controller representable. Let's go ahead and see what it is asking. It's basically saying that, well, what will be the type alias, meaning what will be the type that you will be returning? So I'm just going to say, well, I'll be working with view controller. That's my actual view controller. And I still have to implement a couple of different functions, which includes, you can see, let me actually move this part on the top. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to move it on the top. So now we have the make UI view controller and we also have the update UI view controller. All right. So the make UI view controller is the function that we are mostly interested in. And the job of make UI view controller is to create a view controller and then return it. So in this case, since I'm not using, really using a storyboard, I can simply create my controller like this and just return it and that's it. Update UI view controller, we're not really going to do anything over here. Our view controller is not really getting updated from anything. Uh, so we're just gonna leave it blank. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and create the preview provider. So I'm just gonna call this view controller previews. This will be the preview provider. There we go. There's only one function that we need to implement, which is called previews. It's a static property, actually, not a function. And now we can say that it's going to return representable. As soon as we implement the preview provider, and now we should be able to take a look at that. There we go. You will see that it should display us the preview of view controller. Now it will simply create the view controller with the view with the green background color because we have set it up over here green, but it will be a live preview for our UI view controller, not for our Swift UI. You can see this is a UI kit application and we can still preview these things. So I think this is pretty cool. Now if I go ahead and change this color to purple, it automatically changes. I just have to save it and it works. Now, if I go ahead and add something, let's say if I add a lazy var and I add a UI label. Now, 
If I want, I can go ahead and return some sort of a label over here. I can, let's call it name label just for display purposes or just for, for, for that. I can say UI label. So anything that you want to do, you can actually do that. So label dot uh, translate constraints to false. We will be putting the constraints on there. And now I've created a lazy property, which is simply going to be a label. Now, if I want to go ahead and add a label, I can actually do that. I can say view dot add subview, and we can go ahead and add a label. All right. Now the label currently doesn't really have any text, so let's go ahead and assign it. Uh, let's say hello world. It doesn't really matter what I call it over here. Okay. The important part would be that we are looking at the live preview and we can see the label and we can change it. Currently, the label doesn't really appear because it doesn't really have any constraints on it. So let's go ahead and add some constraints on it. And we will say name label dot center x anchor dot constraint equal to view dot center. So we're just going to try to put the label in the center is active true. And you can actually start seeing the label right over here. You can see it. And the great thing is that we didn't really have to refresh anything. We're just looking at the preview. Let's do the same thing for the Y anchor. And now it's in the middle. Now I can go ahead and change the color and all that stuff if I want to. So I will say text color equals to white. And now it will be white. So it gives us a lot of different flexibility that we can look at our view controller and how we're adding these elements without actually changing a lot of stuff. So I think this is pretty cool. Now I can go ahead and change the font to whatever I want, and now it will be much larger font. So it's really, really a great feature that even though you're working in a UI kit application, uh, you can still see all of those things. So hope you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then check out my courses on Udemy. I have a lot of different courses on Udemy for iOS development and Civ UI. Check out my latest course, which is MV Design Pattern the way that Apple allows you to build the app. So definitely check this out. I have courses on augmented reality, MVVM, and so much more. Thank you so much.